I'm a used car dealer, and this, this is a used car dealer auction. Well, sell time, sell time, let's go. I'm gonna take you in there with me. And that's the van with half a million miles. Another no sale from last week. Half the seat's missing. Fender well's missing. Yep, they need 5,500 bucks for it. Terrible. I'm trying to help you. Look, we're seeing it. The prices aren't getting better. Sell your cars. I've never heard an auction put that forward to uh, to some of these sellers out here. All right, I guess we're forming a new storyline on this van. That's the van with half a million miles. It's up to $2,700. It brought like four grand before they didn't sell it, or like $3,500, they didn't sell it. Uh, it brought $3,100 this time, put on a phone call. So 4,000, like 3,800, 3,500, now 3,100. Keeps going down, continue to no sell. That's a problem. Half a million miles. Half a million miles. They're not selling it. What are they thinking? So we have a massive, massive problem in the car market right now, and it's it's at these used car dealer auctions, and it's in the form of no sales. What a no sale is is when a car goes through the lane, goes through the auction, and it gets bids, but it doesn't go up to the reserve or the amount that a seller actually wants for the car. And they're so far apart that the seller's just like, no, we, we just we can't do it. So they don't put the deal together. And the reason why this is such a big problem is because the wholesale market is going down in such a quick way right now that sellers aren't able to, to catch up. And why it's a big problem too is because we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg of these, these downtrends in the wholesale numbers because the only numbers that you're seeing coming through the system are sold units. And why this is such a big problem is because it's just the tip of the iceberg because what we're seeing in this wholesale data when these numbers are getting crushed week after week after week is that we're only seeing sold units. So what that leads me to believe is that when these sellers actually come to and say, okay, the market is moving down and they actually start selling these cars for what the bids are bringing, then you're going to get this massive whoosh down in uh, in the wholesale numbers, even more than we're seeing right now, because they're actually going to sell these units and they're going to sell them for what dealers will pay. And what dealers will pay right now is way less than what these sellers want. And that's why you're seeing wholesale numbers go down, but you're not seeing them crash like overnight yet. But whenever these sellers come to and they start actually selling the units, what these dealers are willing to pay is, is going to uh, equate in a, in a crash of wholesale values. And it's gonna happen overnight. And these sellers are have to come to, they gotta get in front of it. All right, always like to check these forerunners when I see them, uh, even if they're very rough. And this one's very, very, very rough, just so we can get a, uh, <laughs> a uh, a pulse on the forerunner um environment market whatever you want, want to say it's a 2003 it's got 178,000 miles and it's rough all right here's that forerunner trying to get three thousand dollars oh they got bids they got bids three thousand thirty one thirty two thirty three hundred you saw that other side see up there at the top that's uh that's very 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 rough door panel is off crustage starting so this this thing's this thing's pretty bad rolling out still been on it up to thirty six hundred dollars thirty seven thirty eight bring even in this condition and it is really bad condition my goodness tore up seat <sighs> trash everywhere oh but you know what if you buy if you buy this forerunner you can own all of this as well so it can all be yours i don't even still see here bottle opener looks like pocket knife oh there we go here's the prize there's the prize right here willie and family live that's what you get you get all of that if you buy this there you go so you know what i'm gonna have to we're gonna have to bid on this one now i can't i can't pass up the the willie and family <laughs> all right so we'll we'll check this out it's uh it's a it's a forerunner it's not here but they're still been on it up to four thousand dollars oh no yeah four thousand dollars got four thousand dollars so the seller's just shaking his head no that thing's tore apart and they're turning down four thousand dollars oh my goodness it takes fifty five hundred dollars to buy it half the seats missing fender wells missing yep they need fifty five hundred bucks for it terrible
and I really hope you franchise managers are, are watching this video. I'm trying to help you. Look, we're seeing it. The prices aren't getting better. Sell your cars. Sell them. Stop holding on to them. Market's not getting better. Sell your cars. All right, I got a minute. I want to talk about something real quick. We just had an announcement inside by uh, one of the auction owners, and uh, he came on the mic and said, look, guys, if you've had a car and it's ran here for more than three weeks, we don't want it here anymore. You need to get it off. We're going to we're going to tow them off the auction lot because we are not going to continue to run cars that are not going to sell. I've never heard an auction actually put that forward to uh, to some of these sellers out here, and it's great to hear because yeah, a lot of these cars have been running four, five, six weeks in a row, and no sell, no sell, no sell, no sell. It's because these sellers they're not wanting to move with the market. But you know what? If a lot of these auctions come to these sellers and say, look. If you're not going to sell the car when the market's going down, they know, these, these auction owners, these auctioneers, they know that's how the auction works. First money, best money. When the car runs through the first time, it's going to bring the highest amount of money that it's going to bring, and there's no special buyer, special bidder that's going to step in and give more money for this car later on, uh, weeks later. So these, these auctioneers, these auction owners, they want these, uh, they, these cars out of here. They got to turn, they got to burn them. That's what they do. They do quantity. They have to move these cars. If they have to come on the mic and make that announcement and tell these sellers to get these cars out of here, it's not a parking lot. That's what he used. He said, this is not a parking lot. Bring cars here. You got to sell them. And uh, if they have to come onto the mic and say that, it's bad. And I've been talking about this for weeks. No sell, no sell, no sell, no sell. This market's moving. It's moving down. And these sellers, they have to realize it. If they don't, they're going to get these cars towed because it's not a parking lot. You got to sell these cars. It's not a parking lot. Have you ever felt exposed navigating the online world without protection? That's where NordVPN steps in to amp up your digital security. NordVPN is your virtual bodyguard, shielding your data from potential hackers, identity thieves, and data-hungry advertisers. It ensures that your online activities remain private and secure, acting as a powerful defense against digital dangers. Privacy matters, and NordVPN prioritizes it. With a strict no-logs policy, your digital footprint stays yours and yours alone. In simple terms, a a no log VPN like NordVPN doesn't collect or log your traffic data passing through its servers, maintaining the confidentiality of your information. Ever found yourself restricted online by your location? NordVPN removes those barriers, offering you global access to car markets and other countries' content online without being blocked. And for those who value speed, NordVPN ensures a seamless online experience. Independent tests confirm NordVPN as the fastest on the market. I've collaborated with NordVPN to bring you this exclusive coupon code. Ready to take control of your online information? Click the link nordvpn.com slash CQA in the description to get NordVPN. Use my link and coupon code for safe travels online. All right, I've shown this Toyota Sienna for the last couple weeks. This thing's got 576,000 miles on it. It's ran here now, I think, four weeks in a row, and they keep no selling it. I do not understand what these sellers are doing because that van, that van's not just going to magically bring more money at the longer that it sits here. It's going to bring less money but they still don't want to sell it. They're waiting for that magical buyer that's going to come along and say, yes, yes, this is what I wanted. I wanted, I've been looking my whole life for a Toyota Sienna with half a million miles, and I'm not complete until I can find this van. That's what these sellers are waiting for, and they're not going to find it. That person does not exist. That dealer does not exist. We don't want a van with 576,000 miles. Let's just sell it, sell it. Stop no selling it. Sell it, move it. Get rid of it. Prices are coming down. Get with the program. All right, we definitely got to check this one. It's a 2017 F-150. It's got 129,000 miles. All right, here's the F-150. Trying to start at $25,000. No bids. It's an XLT, and the body looks good. It's got the EcoBoost on it. Um, FX4. There we go. Yeah, outside body looks really good on it. Let's check for rust, though. Let's see here. Oh, actually... Yeah, don't see a whole lot of rust. Drop down to twenty-four thousand dollars. You still got no bids. Down to twenty-three thousand five hundred. Still no bids. Dropped it down to twenty-three thousand dollars. Still nobody interested. Down to twenty-two grand now. Inside it looks pretty good. I don't know why they put these seat. It drives me crazy. They put these nasty seat covers on this truck when the seat's actually pretty good. Uh, a little bit of stainage, and that's gross. 
back seats okay dirty it needs to be cleaned up uh, outside on this truck definitely looks way better than the inside so just remember that when we're watching it go through but we'll check it see what it brings all right down to 21,500 still no bidders 21,000 keep dropping it down nobody wants it auctioneers asking if anybody even wants it and they might just send it out all right dropped it all the way down to fifteen thousand dollars not sure if they've got a bid or not all right we got one bid at fifteen thousand dollars and uh probably going to no sell put it on an if but probably probably no sell all right here we go we got this hyundai it says engine rattle i think i think this comes preloaded in a lot of these uh, accents the elantras and then we got one right here it says bad motor so these are both uh, repossessed cars let me check yep both uh, repos so Along with cosmetic issues that you're going to see with a lot of these repos, what you see more is actually mechanical issues because once someone uh, figures out that, hey, this motor's going bad, if the transmission's slipping, if um, if even it's something small as like lo uh, motor mounts or or sensors, uh, the consumers, they, they don't have the money to pay for it to get it fixed, so they just stop paying their bills. And there's a saying that comes along with a lot of these buy here, pay here dealers that actually do a lot of repossessions is that consumers, they have... They have, uh, I'm holding up two fingers, they have money to do one thing. They can either make their payment or they can fix the car, but they don't have money to do both. So if the car goes bad while it's still um, under this loan and while the customer is still paying for the car uh, through this buy here, pay here lot, so, uh, through a, a bank, whatever, these, these consumers, they're, they're gonna stop paying for it if something goes wrong in the car because they don't have the money to fix it. All right, here's a good one for us to check. It's a 2017 Tahoe. It's got 99,000 miles on it. All right, here's the Tahoe. Trying to start at $30,000. Got no bidders. Dropped it down to 29,000. Still no bidders. Uh, outside body, actually, there's tons of scratches. Look at all those scratches. How does that happen? See, all up the, the side. I don't it's up and down it's it's not deep enough to say it's been keyed and also too many i mean if somebody if somebody keyed this thing then they were really mad that's a <laughs> that's a relationship going horribly wrong if that's keen but i don't i don't think it's been keyed because the scratches aren't deep enough it looks like almost it went under a bunch of trees um they went through the woods or something like that that's, that's probably what happened went, went through the woods but um other than that the body looks okay i mean the rims look like them being curved and hit a few times i don't see really anything else that's alarm it's just that this that hood's gonna have to be re replaced i would assume maybe they can paint over it uh that's just dirt so that's that's not a big deal it's just that that hood I, somebody tell me what happened there dropped it all the way down to twenty three thousand dollars they got bids now so they're rolling it out got one bid at twenty three thousand dollars rolling out we're still bidding on it all right, inside, inside, driver's seat looks good. A little messed up right there. Somebody's old McDonald's is sitting right there, but um, overall nothing looks broken or misplaced. A um, little dirty, a little dirty, but just overall not great, but we'll go inside and see what it brings. Asking for bidders at $23,000. There's only one bid at $23,000. Asking the seller what they'll take. Twenty-five grand is what it takes. Bidder offer $24,000. All right, they couldn't come together. They're about $1,000 apart. They just no sold it. All right, let's check this Wrangler. It's a 2013. It's got 97,000 miles. It's a Sahara. All right, trying to start off at $19,000. No bids. Dropped it down to 18.5. All the way down to 18,000 now. Still no bids. Trail rated. All the goodies, that stuff. Uh, outside body is okay. I mean, it, w when you're getting a Jeep that's almost 10 years old. Actually, it is 10 years old, 10 years old at this point. You're going to have some scratches you're going to have some dings here and there but uh overall for a jeep that's uh, 10 years old it actually looks pretty good uh paint's still good we still got scratches here and there here and there it's going to happen all the way down to fourteen thousand dollars we got a bid now we got a bid all right inside inside rough oh we got lots of water pulling right there i wonder if it's leaking or if a window is left open 
uh, I want to say hopefully the the window was left open. I think that's the case because it's on it's on both sides. So um, probably the last auction that went through, we had a bunch of rain come through after the last auction. The windows were probably left down, and this one was probably a no sell, and that's how all this water got into it. Um, that would be my hope for whoever is uh, going to be buying next. Yeah, because you got water back here too. So it doesn't look like no. The I don't think we got any leakage up here at all so yeah that's what that's what happened the uh, windows were left down and now there's water all in it but there you go we'll go inside check to see what this brings all right it's rolling out but we're still gonna bid on it all right got bids coming in now on that jeep sorry rolled out up to 14,500 up to 14,800 on that Jeep. So they've got this Escalade kind of pulled back a little bit. It's because uh, they're letting the bidders know that we're still on the Jeep. Up to 15,100. Got 15,100. And he's going to put it on an if. Didn't sell it in the lane, going to put it on a phone call. All right, we'll definitely check this out. This is a Cadillac. It's a 2021. I actually don't know what model this is. So somebody put it down. I looked on the back. There's no badge. So uh, somebody put it in the comments what this actually is. All right, here's the Caddy. It's trying to start off at $35,000. No bids. Dropped it down to $31,000. Still no bids. I'm surprised that this car is at this auction. I would assume the franchise dealer that traded this in they would want to retail it um, on their their lot but they they did not but the outside looks great down to thirty thousand all the way down to twenty thousand dollars nobody bid all right we got bids coming in twenty two thousand dollars right now all right inside as you would expect looks like a brand new car um very very clean looks good um, so yeah, let's see what this brings inside. This should bring all the money and then some. I like that pattern on it, um, just because it's uh, it's a very nice car, and I'm I'm very curious to know why it's here, and we can't know, but it always makes me think whenever I see like a 2021 car with 39,000 miles. Very interesting to me. Up to 20,500. Up to 21,000. It only brought $20,750 and they put it on a phone call. Probably not getting it done. So, um, whenever. Okay, let me think where we're going. So, I always like to know. <clears throat> probably could have gotten the. No, let's start this whole thing over again. Bitter and the seller after the sale. Man, I'm, this is just not happening. 